hello guys and welcome to this video today we're going to talk about the step response of lc secrets so we start by drawing a simple lc secret that will consist of a resistor in series with a capacitor and all this is connected via this DC source VS and the switch S okay and so we're going to be looking at the response of the voltage of the capacitor due to an input step signal that will be generated by the switch S at it closes at time t equals zero so to be able to do this we come up with the equations for the voltage and we make use of current law Kirchhoff current law and we're going to apply this at this note here we call it a so if we apply so we say uh, let's say applying Uh, applying catch off current law at A so we have that the sum of current in should be the sum of current out so let's just define uh, some currents here so let's suppose that the current leaving the node A will be I1 and IC okay let me just write this as i c here i c okay obviously there is no current entering the node so this is going to be zero and the sum of current leaving the node we have i1 and i c and so this is going to give me i1 obviously since here we have uh let's suppose this voltage here we call it v c of t and this is vs so here at this point we have vs and at this point we have vc here so since the current is moving from vc to vs so we have a drop in that direction so this can give me vc minus vs over r and then plus ic that's the current across the capacitor and this is given by C D V C of T and the T. So here we're going to separate variables and bring um, so to speak like terms together. So I keep C D V C of T by D T on one side of the equation. I'm going to have negative V C minus V S over uh, on the one side so keeping dvc dt and bringing the other vc the other way so i'm going to have dvc over vc of course this is vc depends on time minus vs should be equal to negative t over rc i'm sorry negative dt so this is uh, negative dt over rc okay so integrating both side of the equation we're going to have these as uh, ln vc of t minus vs and this should be equal to uh, negative t over rc so if we raise both sides of the equation to the power e i mean if we if we take e of both sides that's vc of t minus vs should be equal to i mean it's just some constant I forgot the constant of integration k so that will be e raised to the power negative t on rc plus k so coming up here 
so we have that vc of t finally is equal to vs plus e raised to the negative t on rc multiplied by some constant e to the k which we can just call a, a, a big k here so it's up to us to find the value of k given the initial condition value so we know that at time t equals zero uh, vc of zero should be zero so um, we have that uh, should be v zero sorry uh, the initial zero here so and this should be vs now t is equal to zero e raised to the zero is just one and then that will just give us plus k so k will be v zero minus v s so finally we get the expression for v c of t that's the equation governing the charge in the capacitor or the the charge of the capacitor and that will be v s and then plus k which is v0 minus vs all to the power i mean v0 minus vs e raised to the power negative t on rc now if we suppose that at time t equals zero that there is no voltage across the capacitor then we have vc of t is equal to Vs minus and that will just give me uh, 1 minus V and E raised to the power negative T over uh, C because Vs is common and that is the expression of the voltage governing the charge in the capacitor so what about the current? Let's just wipe here to get to have more room. What about current? Uh, what about current? Let me just wipe here. So what about IC? So IC we know is C dV C of T by DT. So this will not think this will be nothing but C and then deriving this with respect to T, to T deriving this equation we have negative 1 over RC so that will be 1 over RC and then multiply by Vs and then multiply by E raised to the negative T over RC and this is nothing but uh, Vs over R e raised to the negative t over rc so this is ic so now that we have the expression for the current and the voltage across the capacitor of course the current depends on t we are going to analyze the circuit for different time slots so for t before zero that's a long time ago before we close the switch t equals zero that's the instant at which we close the switch and what's happening in between i mean zero and infinity but let's, let's look at what's happening as t turns to infinity and we'll be looking at what's happening in between zero and infinity so we'll be looking at what's happening for vs and is and it's different time intervals so for the first time interval as t is less than zero we have that uh, v c of t nothing's happened to capacitor is zero and uh, similarly with the current across the capacitor 
it will be zero exactly at time t equals zero if we replace zero in the equation for the capacitance we have one minus one so this vc of t will be zero but ic of t would just be since we're replacing zero this expression here is going to be one so it just be vs over r as time increases up to infinity so if this increases to infinity this term over here is going to become zero so we have that vc of t is equal to vs and ic of t eventually as this becomes very big this quantity is going to turn to zero so it's going to be zero so in between in the transient state vc of t will be increasing exponentially following the equation of one minus e raised to the negative t on rc times vs and similarly i i c of t will be increasing with decreasing rather exponentially following vs over r e raised to the negative t on r c and so we can represent this i don't know if i have enough room here down down here to represent this so let me just wipe here so i can represent on the left uh here, let me just wipe here great okay so we have so we're going to represent uh, vc of t and I C of T. So okay. So before zero, nothing is happening, both for V C of T and for I C of T. So we have zero. Likewise, here we have zero. At time t equals zero, V C of T is still zero. But I C of T is uh, V S over R as time turns to infinity here we get that V C of T becomes V S and the I C of T becomes zero so in between vc of t increases i'm sorry zero this so vc of t i'm not sure why this is not straight so let's do this straight okay so vc of t is going to increase exponentially up to vs and i c of t is going to decrease exponentially up to zero so this is the step response of an rc circuit to an input step signal